Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the contest median question, minimize Hamming distance after swap operations. The question statement, so we are given two integer arrays, source and target, and they both have the same size n. And we also given another array called allow swaps, where each item in the array is an array of size of two, ai and bi, and they indicate that we are allowed to swap the elements at uh, index AI and at index BI of the array source. And here's an important condition that we are able to swap elements at a specific pair of indices any times and in any order. And here we define the Hamming distance of two arrays of the same length, uh, in this case is source and target, is the number of positions where the elements are different. And we have to return the minimum Hamming distance of source and target arrays after performing any amount of swap operations on the array source. So for example one, we're able to swap the elements uh, at index zero and index one in the source array, or the element at index two and index three. And the source array can be transformed into uh, the array two, one, four, three. And the Hamming distance of this array to the target, target array is one, since they only have one item differ. For example two, the allow swaps array is empty. So the Hamming distance, the minimum Hamming distance we can get is a Hamming distance of the original source and target array, which is two. And for example two, with this uh, inputs, we're able to get a minimum Hamming distance of zero. And the data constraint of this question, the size of the source and target array can go up to 10 to the power of five. The intuition to solve this question, so there's an important clue of this question that we're able to swap elements in the source array at a specific pair of indices, multiple times, any times, and in any order. So let's say uh, the allow swaps array is two array of zero four and four two. So that means we can swap the element at uh, index zero to index four, or at uh, element at index four to index two. So we can think of it just like uh, one array of zero, four, two, and then each element at the index can be swapped uh, with each other. And the key here is that these two arrays, they are connected because they have a common uh, element four. So the data structure we can use is a uh, union find to find all connected group in the allow swaps array. And then in each group, we can find the number of elements that appear in source array, but not in target. Then that will be the minimum Hamming distance uh, we can get. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and there are two main parts in the code. First is to uh, create the union find class and implement the find and union API. And next is to create the union find data structure on allow swaps. And here we will have a hash map M that the key of the hash map is the parent or the root of each uh, connected group. And the value in the hash map is the members of that group. Finally is to go through every member in each uh, connected group, which is every indices in a source and target array and check that how many elements appear in a source array but not in target array. And that will be the Hamming distance of each connected group. And we will add that into the final output rest. And this will be more clear when we see the code in action. Here we'll be looking at uh, example one. And the allow swaps array is two uh, subarrays of zero, one, and two, three. And first step is to create 
uh, the union find data structure UF on allow swaps and then create the hash map M based on UF. So the hash map M would be looking like this. The key in the hash map is the root of every separate group and the value is the member which is the index in the source and target array in each group. So for this example, we have two uh, separate groups. The first group, uh, their parent is one, and this group has two elements, zero and one. And the second group, the parent is three, and it also has uh, two elements, two and three. And next, we'll go through every values in the hash map M. And remember these values or these groups they represent the index in the source and target array. So the first group is 0 and 1. They represent the elements at index 0 and index 1 in the source and target array. And next, we will calculate how many elements appear in the source array but not in the target array based on the formulas here. So we will have a frequency hash map that the elements 1 and 2, they both appear in the source and target array. So the values, which is also the Hamming distance between source and target array at index 0 and index 1 is 0. So rest will remain, remain 0. And in the next group, uh, index 2 and 3, there is one element that uh, three that appear in source array but not in target array. So the frequency hash map will be looking like this. And we will add one into rest. And you can think of this as uh, we're able to swap uh, three and four in a source array. So there will be one position that are different between source and target array. So the Hamming distance will become one. If the final output of this example is one. And this will conclude the algorithm. Lastly, let's review. So the key idea to solve this question is that the important condition we are able to swap elements at a specific pair of indices multiple times and in any order. And we can use a union find data structure to find all connected groups out of the allow swaps array and in each group, we will find the number of elements that appear in the source array, but not in target array. And this will give us the minimum Hamming distance. And the time and space complexity of this approach are both linear, because we only need to iterate through the array once, and we need an extra space to build the union find data structure. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.